Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. And I'm very happy to share this um, performance with you. I've been doing performances for about six years. I was a painter in a studio for all my life and showing in galleries. And when people approach me in galleries saying, I think I know what you're feeling or thinking, and many times they were right on the mark, I felt a sense of loneliness, a sense that I wasn't there anymore. I had moved on somewhere else. I was a year somewhere else ahead. Uh, although I appreciated uh, uh, that connection, I felt it was in some other space. So Rock Band came along and said, I'd like to have you do our album cover. And I said, I'd like to do it live so it's fresh, so it's real, it's genuine. And they said, our last rehearsal was yesterday. So I said, uh, well, how are we going to do this? And they said, well, we're going live on stage tomorrow. So I arrived with my equipment uh, at the uh, theater and I set up and they expected that I would make one painting for the whole evening for the album cover. But I was overly inspired. I did a painting per song, three to four minutes. And it was very exciting. And uh, that very night, uh, they asked me whether I wanted to join a rock band. Now, I mentioned I was a solitary painter in a studio, but I wasn't thinking of actually going on the road with a rock band. <laughs> so I signed up with them. And we did a number of performances throughout Toronto. Eventually, I got more and more visual ideas linked with music and word, lyric, poetry, dance. So much so that I began to open up for the rock band I had signed up with, and it was gradually becoming my show. So eventually, I made a decision that I was going to go my own way. And how is this different from other performances of live painting? In the past, uh, in the past few decades, it was more about following the music, following the inspiration. I do that too. I love music and dance and word. But in the live painting performances that uh, we're engaging on right now, when I say we, I mean my artists, friends. Um, it's about the visual leading. Creativity, by and large, is a visual activity. Before we do anything creative, we tend to visualize it first, whether it's music, writing, building a house, whatever. So the painting becomes uh, kind of a focus and a center. And so I ask musicians to accompany me to bring out what I'm after in the visual. So eventually what, uh, what takes place is um, a kind of uh, extension of what I'm doing. But as soon as they get excited by the visual, more so than what they had expected, and I had expected because I'm in a new place, they inspire me, I paint a little differently, it takes them further and it's reciprocal, it goes back and forth. Um, so I don't like to over-rehearse. In fact, uh, my uh, family from the north, Ohitok and Joey, are going to be accompanying me. Now they're very courageous, more courageous than I am tonight. They're not musicians, that's what they tell me. But I haven't met an Inuit person that isn't artistic in more than one way. Um, Ohitok said to me, I don't understand. If there's an artist in the family, why isn't everyone else an artist? <laughs> and down here we tend to think in the South, ah, it's a gift, it's a talent. And then sometimes you hear it's 99% hard work and so on. Um, but I think creativity has to come from a sense of uh, 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 wanting, longing, and uh, uh, a deep-seated sort of desire in terms of feeling. And then uh, having the courage just to do it, whether it works or not. Just to have that creative courage. And to be on stage, and do something with uh, other artists in the moment uh, is very real for me. And I, I hope you enjoy uh, uh, what we're about to do. Uh, how did I get involved in the Arctic exhibition here? Well, I've always had a love of the Arctic, and I have a confession to make. I have such a love for it, I can't wait to get there. I'm the only artist in the exhibition who hasn't been to the Arctic. And I was, yes, I know, it's sad, isn't it? <laughs> How far north have I been? Quite. Almost to the tree line. So I think of this performance as, I'm heading north, and I'm going to paint what I anticipate, what I long for. And the Inuit uh, spirit is going to come reaching for me, to pull me further. It's kind of meeting at the tree line. That's how I think of it. And so, uh, Hope you enjoy the performance, and uh, we're going to get started right now. 
and uh, uh, thank you for being here. It's nice to see such a large crowd as well. Thank you. So I'm just going to get them started. Yeah. I'm just going to get them started first.